Hey there everyone, Hatesh here, back again with another video and in this video, we're gonna look at the EXEC or executing command in the Docker. Now this is one of the most popular and very powerful command and a detailed discussion on this absolute is absolute necessary. So we're gonna first take a look how this actually works, then we're gonna move on to the documentation because to learn anything, the documentation are the best resource. But of course, I do agree that learning directly through the documentation is not one of the easiest thing. But in this series, I will try to give you some of the readable links so that you can read directly from the documentation. Don't worry, I will point out specific lines and things that you need to focus on. So let's go ahead and in the previous video, we saw that how we can use executing command and we were passing on a flag dash it to make sure that we are getting a bash shell from the mongodb container let's see what is going on so whenever uh, the c colon slash is our main terminal or our main prompt whether you are on the mac or on windows this is the terminal from where we are passing on all these command and this gray box represent the container means there can be nothing uh, being communicating from this container as of now and we have this mongo shell denoted by the letter m this is right inside this container so how we can communicate with this now in order to communicate with this you might have studied in the earlier days that there are some standard input and output devices which helps you to communicate for example your keyboard and your screen these are standard input and output devices but for the container these input and output devices from the signals are changed a little bit so what happens the usual standard and input output instead of being throwing on to some other place this mongodb when you run the command exec it and then all the name of the container it says hey in that container i want you to change the standard input and output standard input is going to be something which i'm going to write onto the shell on my shell which needs to be directly go inside this mongodb shell and whatever the result that comes out is going to be uh, done through the standard output on my terminal now the dash i the flag dash i is majorly responsible for changing the input and output but what does this dash t stands for here now this is to give you a, a nicely neatly uh, kind of a formatable terminal uh, which is also known as tty so that is being given through the dash it command now so that you understand that what is this exec it is the right time that we explore this command a little bit more and what's the better way of exploring something more than the official documentation. So let's go up there and we're gonna see on the documentation. So this is the link where we are doing a reference on the Docker engine about the command line exec. So again, at the top, the command and usage is all given us. The thing on which we are majorly interested in is these are the option. So we can see the very first option is, uh, there are two variants of the option in some of them, like you can write the full word by using hyphen hyphen, or you can use just a hyphen and the shortcut for that. So we have got this detach mode, which run the command on the background. And the one that we have been using is the interactive one. Keep standard input open, even if not attached. I mean, just keep it open. I'm gonna give on passing on, I will pass on some commands and show me the output of that. Now, these are the simple uh, dash I option. We were also giving this hyphen T option, or you can also pass on hyphen hyphen TTY. So this actually allocates you a pseudo, a pseudo TTY, means a pseudo terminal to read whatever the commands are coming up from the command that you are giving up, the result of them. Now, definitely we can also pass on some username or the group ID in case you don't want to log in as a root, you want to log in as a user. You can pass on the username by hyphen O command, hyphen U command. This is a pretty common thing that happens in the Linux. So nothing groundbreaking, but these options are the most important thing that you should spend a little time after this video to read along. Now, definitely there are some examples being given. I don't expect that everybody is gonna be understanding these examples pretty easily. They can be a little bit complex for the people who are not having firm Linux background. But again, Docker really doesn't uh, force you to learn the Linux at first. The enough command that you need for the Linux are gonna be discussed in this series, so nothing to be worried on that part. But in case you want to, just go ahead and read this entire page. Not a really big page, it's a very, very short page. So as an assignment, please read this page. If you're reading this page, click a photo, click a selfie, post me on the Instagram. I would love to check out that you're following this series and you are actually enjoying and learning with this. 
So that's it for this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. Hit that subscribe button and we're going to catch up in the next video.